Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. Well, I wanted to give you guys today a quick video on how to remove your jailbreak and how to get rid of your jailbreak, I should say, with ease. So there is a situations where people come up where there's, maybe they just don't want the jailbreak anymore on their device. They jailbroke it, they, you know, they played around with the tweaks, maybe it was draining your battery too fast, or maybe you installed too many tweaks and you just got scared and you don't want to remove it, or maybe there's an application that you... you previously used, maybe a game or something that you used that doesn't know, doesn't work anymore and it just it's not worth keeping on your device or the jailbreak is not worth keeping on your device because you'd rather have that application instead. Well, I'm gonna show you guys today real quick how to go ahead and do that. Super easy, very, very easy trick. So first and foremost, with your jailbreak, you do need to be, of course, on a jailbroken on a jailbroken device. Go ahead and navigate over to the uncovered application. Now, there are some settings here. If you notice at this hop left, if you tap on that, there are different toggles that you can switch off on and off. So restore root FS is one of those. So right under disable auto updates, export TFPO, uh, restore root FS, that is the one that you are going to want to toggle on. So restore fs there we go we have that toggled on perfect now with that that will allow us to get back into our normal state and with that you won't have to worry about uh, having a jailbreak anymore it will remove itself from you and it will also remove Cydia from you too so rest instead of hitting the jailbreak button it automatically says restore root fs so currently i do want to show you guys that i am currently jailbroken with Cydia currently working on my iPad Pro. Let's go ahead and swipe up, go back to uncover, and we're still gonna restore the root FS. Let's go ahead and hit that button right there. And it will say jailbreaking, of course. So what it's gonna do is just gonna completely wipe away that jailbreak from you. So obviously make sure that you support Rebel and flip around his case if you would for a while. Let's go ahead and hit the X button from there. The jailbreak completed. The system needs to reboot to finish the jailbreak process. When your device reboots, rerun the jailbreak to complete the process. So let's go ahead and hit OK. It's going to respring. It's going to reboot for a moment. And then we should see that Cydia has been removed. And then we should be able to use our applications that we haven't been able to use. So for example, uh, the Cydia Final Fantasy was one of those applications that has a jailbreak detection. We don't, we're not able to use that type of application. There's a couple of applications that are out there that use or that have some sort of jailbreak detection app on there or detection on there. So you're just, you're stuck. If you don't wanna have a jailbreak, you, you can gain those apps back, but you sacrifice those apps if you want a jailbreak. So there's the whole caveat between that. So we're gonna wait for our device to go ahead and re or reboot. Again, sorry for the amount of fingerprints on my iPad. Let's go ahead and swipe up. Perfect. And as you can see here, no more Cydia. Completely gone. We have the Uncovered Jailbreak app. It still works normal. If you would, or actually, that even doesn't even work anymore. The All Store should still work. Let's go ahead and launch that. All Store still works, so if I did wanna re-sign the jailbreak one more time, we can do that again. Uh, let's see here, Reprovision is currently off of my device right now. It's completely gone, so I don't even have that. Now, let's check to see if the City of Final Fantasy currently works and that there is no jailbreak. Yep, works perfect. So all your applications should work fine. Everything should just run normally as you would. Again, Decidia Final Fantasy is one of those few applications out there that have a jailbreak detection on there. It will continuously crash, but as you can see, it's working just as fine. So we know that it is in a non 